What an amazing chapter of Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man chapter 127. Let's talk about it. All right, so this is a fantastic example of how to make a story that's very dark and gory have more to it. Um, I feel like a lot of people might get into a series, because I've heard this for a long time, where someone will get into a series like Chainsaw Man or like Berserk or just something like that's very dark and gritty and say, oh, you like it because it's super edgy and dark. When it's like, well, no. Um, usually these type of stories, or at least the ones that I enjoy the most, are the ones that they take something very dark, but use that to bring about a message through the narrative and that is exactly what this um chapter did because this was all all about um basically a, a reason to live uh what is your reason to live why do you keep going even though bad things just seem to keep happening and i think that that message is is so good um because you have somebody like asa who kind of gives in in the temptation and it's like you know what i'm over it um i'm just gonna accept how my fate is and I'm just gonna fall and we've seen Denji go through this uh, before um, now Asa's going through this uh, Asa is at the point of acceptance right she's accepting it and Denji had that back with Makima back when he realized oh Makima is this you know terrible person controlling everybody all this stuff eventually Denji had that breaking point where he was like fine I'm over it I accept um, I'm just gonna become Makima's dog and that's that. And later on, Denji was able to overcome that and come out the other side, a better person, and he overcame those obstacles in his path. Well, now we're seeing Asa do the same thing. And uh, Denji is there, you know, as Chainsaw Man. And so that really awesome panel uh, where he grabs her arm and is trying to hold her from falling up. And she's like, just let me go. Like, there's no point in living because it's like, Every time, like, so just bad stuff just keeps happening. And every time there's something good that seems good, just another bad thing that happens. And Denji's like, yeah, I know it sucks. And she's like, yeah, so <laughs> let go of me because this sucks. Like, let's just go. <laughs> let's just fall. And he's like, well, no, that's not. Like, look, I understand that bad things are going to happen. But there's always a light at the end of the tunnel, you know. You just have to find out what that light is is what is that light in your life and asa's like well what about you like why do you keep going <laughs> oh the final page is so hilarious he's just like oh i just want to have sex and she's like ew like there's that panel where she's like ew she's like disgusted by it and i'm just like that is hilarious and that's dingy that is actually why he keeps going that's the point of the story that's who we started with. He's always trying to grope some boobs or get with a girl. Like, that's been the whole thing. It's been escalating to the point where, yeah, at the end of part one, a dude just wants to get laid. That's his whole purpose. And here in part two, even though he has to take care of Nayuta and all that and survive on his own, we are starting to see that he's still who he is. Like, Denji as a person hasn't really, like, changed, right? Like, you could say he's he's grown as a person, but he, he hasn't really changed. Like, he's still Denji, and that still motivates him. And I think this is, like, such a good message and something that I really like. And that is something that I want to bring up about, like, Fujimoto's writing in general. I've always been such a fan of his style of writing because not only are the messages in his stories, you know, usually pretty cool, but it's also a cool aspect that it always makes me question myself, right? He's had it in like Fire Punch and stuff. Look Back, uh, Goodbye Airy had it. Look Back is probably my favorite one because Look Back pretty much ends with Fujimoto essentially asking you like, why do you draw? And me as myself, you know, I draw manga. So it really makes me question, you know, what is the reason why I draw? Why do I draw? And that kind of came up again in this chapter of Chainsaw Man where he's talking about like yeah like bad things are going to happen but don't you have anything to live for like everyone has something even if it's minor think about it like chainsaw man goes through absolute hell why just to get laid right which i mean i understand he's 16 so to him that's a big deal but like i'm 27 and like 
that's not a big deal. Like when you become like an adult, you realize that that's not really a big deal. Um, but as a 16 year old, that's like the world, you know, and it makes so much sense. And even though it seems something that is like so minor, it's like, that's his entire reason to live and nothing out of, dude, think about this. Every girl in the series that Dingy has met has like screwed him over and has been very toxic for his life. But yet, he's still chasing girls. You know, so no matter how bad things are, he still sees the light at the end of the tunnel. And that is the question that it makes me ask myself. If you've been following the channel, you know that a while back, um, I lost everything as far as like my manga work, right? Um, like the past four years of all the stuff that I've worked on from my web comics that I've had, one shots that I've made, uh, 14 chapter manga that I've had, and then my new manga that I'm currently working on, Bioto, um, I lost everything. I lost, you know, all the script writing, all the character designs, like I lost everything and I had to restart and that's what, you know, postponed because the first chapter actually should have came out this month. Like sometime this month, you guys should be reading the first chapter of my new manga, Bioto. But that's been postponed till probably next year, if not at the end of this this year, right? And it's one of those moments where, like, I lost everything, right? And it really, really sucked. Like, a lot. It was everything I've ever worked on, dude. It is gone. And I had to start from complete scratch. But I still restarted. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't give up. You know, I, I took a couple days off because I was, like, really broken up about it, but... It didn't break me as a person, you know what I mean? And even if I did, I put the pieces together, you know? And I feel like I'm in Dingy's shoes. Yeah, bad things in life are going to happen. And sometimes they really suck. And when I say that, I mean that in all capital letters. You know what I mean? Like sometimes things in life really suck. And it's like not a reason to like give up, right? Because... If I, cause like I look at like what I've accomplished since then, I've gotten, you know, a decent amount done and it's going to take me a while, but one day I will put out the first chapter of my new manga. And then after that, I'll be putting out the next one, then the next one and the next one. And next year, two years, three years, five years, 10 years from now, I'm going to look back and be like, damn, like, I'm so glad I didn't stop. And I kept pushing no matter how hard things get. And that is the mes message that I take away from this chapter. And it really makes you question yourself, you know, why is it that you keep going? You know, what is your reason? And to me, it's just like, like my manga, like that is the reason why I live. Like, even though y'all haven't even read my manga yet and it won't be out for a while, it's up here. I have so many really cool ideas, so many really cool scenes, so many really cool arcs that I cannot wait to get to. But this stuff takes time, and I understand that. And that is my motivation, that like I live for my manga, like I work on my manga every day. Like if you watch my second channel where I do daily vlogs, you know that I will be up till 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., every single night dude i'll be up till 2 a.m and i'll have to be at work at 6 a.m the next day i'll get like three four hours of sleep and i'll keep doing it and i'll keep doing it i do not take days off i do not take breaks you know why because i see the light at the end of the tunnel and for me that's my manga and i'm gonna create manga and i'm going to do that i'm gonna create these youtube videos for you guys and that is the position that asa is in she just needs to find that thing that is worth living for. And I think it's going to be dingy. Because at the beginning of the series, she said that when she died the first time and became the war devil, she said the number one thing that she's always had wanted was a boyfriend. That could be the reason why she is living or why she chooses to continue to live. So to me, I'm like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. Dingy found his purpose. He wants to have sex. And then Asa wants a boyfriend. So it makes sense. Now it is funny that at the end of the chapter, she said, ew, like that was hilarious. That, oh, that was just Chainsaw Man comedy gold. And yeah, just beautiful chapter, beautiful dialogue. And 
like it's crazy how like i should be more excited to see like this fight right with the falling devil or whoever's gonna else is gonna show up now that the doors to hell are, are like opening like is there any more going to come it's funny how like i should be more excited about that but this chapter was so good that i actually forgot about all that like i didn't even mention like the falling devil had a cool moment in this where she like grabbed asa and made all her fears come true or whatever made her think of all her um all the negatives in life right i completely skipped over it because honestly the all the other stuff with dingy and asa dude the dialogue and everything was so good that i forgot all about it that's how great this chapter was man i cannot wait to see what fujimoto has in store for both these characters dingy and asa Bye, have a beautiful time.